Hello, well, um, I'm here uh, working on my uh, Sentra uh, and uh, I'm going to show you the progress. I'm uh, putting the batteries already in the car. Um, junction box is complete uh, and I'm installing batteries now. I put some wood so they don't sit on the uh, bottom in case there's some uh, water leaking from, from the uh, coming in. And I already have five of the batteries um, installed here. Um, they're ready for the connections that I'm going to do after. And the way I install these uh, straps, their whole thing's very, very tight, and they just, uh, you know, they can really, you know, make things very easy for, for strapping. So I just basically do this. And this is really, really good for, for strapping things. They hold things very, very strong, and I think that's a good choice for for securing the batteries. Um, then this is just uh, covered uh, with just to avoid, uh, you know, dropping anything on the um, and the uh, batteries and make a short circuit. Um, I'm now working on the uh, second set of batteries, which are going to go here. And this is what I'm doing. It just um, strapping them with uh, rods, rods that I got at Home Depot. These are very inexpensive. So um, this got it came from the original uh, Nissan assembly. So this is the way this is going. And um, I put them together with one of these. These are very inexpensive also tools to compress things. So they. Uh, I use that to compress the batteries and then put the uh, put the rods. Then I have to cut this and put the other ones. And uh, now, so far it's working good. Um, every few batteries they come with. Uh, <coughs> let me see if I can tip this over. <coughs> They're heavy. Um, every few batteries they come with a special uh, attachment like this that I can use for um, pretty much attach a few batteries uh, a support across just to give it more strength um, so that's the way I'm working on you know three in parallel and then connected in series to the next three in parallel and so far so good All right more to come Okay, second uh, batch of batteries is in and uh, I just put this uh, lid to avoid, uh, you know, short circuits, but that's uh, second second battery set and they fit perfect. This is uh, uh, 10 batteries and that's 5, so it's uh, 15. We have uh, all the way to go to 42, but um, this should have enough space for about uh, I think 18 or 20, something like that. We'll see. That's my next uh, step, batteries in this place. Okay, um, for the last, uh, next set of batteries here. I um, have my crane and um, they should land there properly. Uh, let's take a look. And there it is, uh, properly installed, settled down. It's uh, in a very good place. Uh, I like it where it is. Now I want to see if I can put the uh, stabilizer bar on top again and a couple of batteries extra on the top. I think the, the uh, hood is, uh, has a form to accommodate probably a couple more. So that's what I'm going to uh, explore now. Other than that, uh, looking good. Well, batteries are installed and they're, I'm using the car uh, we drove uh, there, there wasn't much time to test it because I just finished it uh, right before the electric drive week so we had to test it on the go and uh, to the uh, event which was 45 miles away so it was 90 miles round trip so it, there's no way you can make it with the one single battery so with the two batteries you can make it uh, it should have a range of 130 miles and it made it and everything was good uh, amazingly nothing failed and the batteries were good so this is how it uh, they uh, ended up being installed one set of five here one set of 
10 here, 18 batteries here. Uh, they'll uh, strap with uh, with uh, straps, uh, and then uh, I just built a little uh, cover here for for the batteries, so I don't want to have the uh, exposed terminals. So that's how it uh, that's how it works. This is for this side. Anyway, it's okay. It goes here, and then this uh, has some. Um, another cover for the terminal so they just slide back and forth these two, two, two sheets so basically I just uh, uh, lift them from here and they slide like sliding doors and uh, the rest of the batteries went to the back um, I still need oh man I updated this I need to probably make new signs uh, the rest of the batteries are on the sides I need to build covers for this of course because the terminals are uh, you know not covered so I really need to cover those terminals for now I don't have anything in the trunk just to avoid any short circuit but that's how it uh, ended up working out now I have a 130 miles range which is great I already drove uh, 90 miles uh, last two days ago and it, uh, it worked great.